I stand tall and proud, hugging the earth like mother and child. From deep within the earth's soil, my life began, sprouting from the seed to the tree that I am. My first friend was Spring. She was there to greet me, and she started me along on this wondrous journey. She brought with her life the sun and the showers, and she had a faint smell like a field of wild flowers. With her flings and her fever, she made people smile. Everyone loved her sweet, mellow style. I would bathe in her rain just like a warm shower, wiggling my roots in the mud for an hour. She was gentle and warm, and she nurtured me so. And that is how I began to grow, and grow, and grow. Then one day, the 21st of June, Summer walked in with the new summer moon. Summer was gorgeous, so warm and carefree. She's one of my favorites, I'm sure you'd agree. Her sunsets were stunning. She made the birds sing. And her breezes were soft like a butterfly's wing. The air was full of laughter and the buzzing of bees. And the children would play in the grass by my knees. I would lounge in the sun on those very hot days. And I would soak up the heat from the sun's yellow rays. I played with the squirrels and the bugs all day long. Then one day I woke up and summer was gone. She said she'd be back and not to be sad, but I couldn't help feeling a little bit bad. I missed her much more than she'll ever know. But she told me that's life, and that's just how it goes. Since September 22nd, Autumn stopped by. He was colorful and full of wind, a real gusty guy. Autumn was cool, with a cool autumn breeze, and he sent the wind rushing through all of my leaves. He brought out his colors, his reds and his browns, his oranges and yellows were splashing around. He painted my leaves like your mom paints her toes. Then my leaves started swinging like bells to and fro. His nickname was Fall, and do you know why? My leaves fell from my branches like tears from sad eyes. It scared me a bit. I wasn't too pleased. I wasn't too happy. I liked all my leaves. You know, the wind can be wicked, so make no mistakes. You must bend with it. That's when Winter showed up with Jack Frost, her best mate. You just know they were waiting all year long for this day. December 21st is Winter's birthday, and she came with her snow, ready to play. The gang, they took everything, everything in sight, and they took it and touched it and made it turn white. There were blankets of snow. I mean, I nearly froze. I had icicles hanging right off. Winter's friends came along, and they weren't very nice. Like that bitter North Wind and her friend Frosty Ice. The North Wind would blow that cold snow down my trunk and then laugh in my face. I mean, that really stopped. Then Winter joined.
joined in and dumped snow on my head. They were laughing so hard that my bark turned bright red. <laughs> Jack Frost, he would nip at my trunk and my toes. I mean it when I tell you that I nearly froze. I was suffering, it's true. I was very depressed. Winter was wicked, a regular pest. I was alone and unhappy, and I started to cry. I quit. I give up. And then I opened my eye. The white wonderland was a breathtaking sight, and the night skies were filled with such beautiful lights. And in that moment. When I thought that I could not go on, I saw a green bug pop his head through the lawn. I felt it somehow. I knew she was there. Spring had come back like a breath of fresh air. It was such a long journey to March 21st. I lived through the best and I lived through the worst. Life isn't always easy. In fact, sometimes it's tough. But I learned if I'm patient and I wait long enough. The seasons will change and things will look up. The seasons will come and the seasons will go, and the tree that I am, I'll continue to grow. I will look forward to spring and to summer and fall, and yes, even to winter and seeing them all. Life is a gift. We must all understand. Be proud and stand tall, like the tree that I am.